Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a parcel that's just been delivered and this one has come to me from the good people at diamondartgift.com. Uh, I have worked with them before and the product was lovely that I got last time. So they said, would I like some more products to show you? And I said, yes, of course. Uh, I enjoyed unboxing the last one. So uh, just a couple of items this time. Uh, we have a diamond painting. Oh, there was a girl. Oh, oh, I wonder what the rest of that could be. And then we have a little packet. Okay, let's... Uh, there are quite a few uh, special offers on uh, Diamond Art Gift at the moment. And um, if you add four items to your basket, you will get one free. We like free. Yay! And there is 70% off shipping as well. So if you pop along to the website, just have a look and see how it applies to your country or area where you live. And yeah, hopefully you can possibly get something free and get 70% off your shipping. So yay, win-win. Okay, uh, let's have a look at this little one first. We'll have a look at the big painting in the last. Okay, so you know, I do like my different things and my little special items that come out so let's see what this one is i've got a vague idea what i ordered but i'm never quite sure what i've got i'm never quite sure till it arrives so let's have a look and see oh oh it's come uh, very well wrapped it's a nice little jiffy bag keep that okay uh, we've got our basic toolkit pen boat and wax and oh, it's all special drill. It wouldn't be a Liz unboxing without special drills. And we have a hot pink. It wouldn't be a Liz unboxing without a hot pink. <laughs> oh, look at this. Very well packaged. Thank you very much for sending this. So, oh, look. Oh, 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 look. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, just pop that on one side. So we've got a little Christmas decoration. Because it is coming up to that time of year. Okay, let's have a look and see. Oh, it's a little stand-up decoration. Wow, and so well wrapped. Oh, huge thank you, Diamond Art Gift, for sending these to me. I do like my Christmas, if I can get into it. <laughs> I hadn't seen this one before. Um, I've been waiting for all the new Christmassy things to start coming back in because I love them. And look, it's little Santa. And oh, now then, this looks like it's Rudolph, but that could be a cookie. Do we think that is Rudolph or do we think, oh no, because it's got a little, I think it could be a bauble. I was thinking maybe it's like a gingerbread Rudolph because this is a nice cup of possible hot chocolate look with all the cream on. And we've got a straw there or a little biscuit. And then we've got a little candy cane stuck in it. And it says, Merry and Bright. Oh, but look at him. I just love that. Absolutely love it. And as I've said before on paintings, it's amazing how just adding that, oh, sorry for the glare, that little tiny mouth there has just made a completely different expression and he's like a gnome santa isn't he he's got his beard and then all you can see is his little nose so i think this one will be done in november because it's a gnome but yeah what do we think do we think that's a cookie or do we think it is actually rudolph or do we think because it's got like that little bit on the top of its head that it's a bauble and then we've got the sack of presents up there and just one that's spilled out down here <gasps> That is gorgeous. Oh, there's a couple of presents down here as well. And Santa's little feet. Oh, I love little feet like that. That is absolutely super. And then it's just got its little clear perspex stand. Has it got? I think it has got. Yes, it has. So it has got clear coverings on it. So when you take it off, it will be clear underneath. So you don't have to worry, unless you like it, the uh, like whitish colour. It sort of goes with the snow theme and Christmas. And now then, is this on the top or is it on the bottom? The Oh, the numbers are actually on the bottom of the project. So this is printed actually onto the bottom of the perspex. But I don't know, because these are so tight together, 
possibly you won't get that um, sort of like skewed perspective when you're doing it but we'll have to see because I will be doing this one I do love my homes and I do love Christmas let's give him a quick measure oh he's lovely you could actually do these couldn't you and send it um in place of a Christmas card you could just because once it's diamond painted it's practically full coverage you could put a little greeting on the back I wouldn't recommend writing it because it may show through but if you've just got a little Merry Christmas or a little sticker with uh, Merry Christmas and who it's from and I just think that's quite pretty or you could put it on the base uh, but yeah uh, this would make quite a nice uh, Christmas card and then rather than it going uh, in the bin it could be just brought out year after year I don't know what my ruler's doing I must my hands must be shaking because that ruler's uh, tape measure's just giving a good wobble <laughs> So we'll go from widest part to widest part is six inches, which is ooh, about 15 and a half centimetres. OK, so it's a nice smaller one to just pop onto your mantelpiece. So it's about a card size, really, about the width of a card. And that's four inches, which is about 10 centimetres. So, yeah, and it would probably fit in um, a little card envelope as well just to send as a little gift to somebody. You know, a lot of people um, aren't doing Christmas presents as such this year and maybe just sending little stocking fillers or something or just, you know, even a card. I mean, what did this one cost? This was $5.99. So you can easily spend that on a card that at Christmas these days. And then it will just stand in its little stand and it'll just stand up. You could put a little tea light behind him. Probably a battery operated one would be best. And then, yeah, but he's so sweet. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. I might have to look and see which other ones they have as well because there's a few different ones on the website. And we'll see what they are. So let's have a look at our gems. Oh, nice and sparkly. Lots of colours. Okay, so we have 10 different colours. Wow. A lot for energy project. Okay, so we've got our lovely Christmassy cherry red. Oh, gorgeous, very bright, sparkly clear. And a lovely Christmassy green. And your gold, red, green and gold. My favourites for Christmas. I do like traditional Christmas. And then we've got our blue colour there. And it's a very, very dark green. So that'll be, um, is that for the, oh, it looks like, actually that's a sleigh in the background, isn't it? I was thinking that there was just Santa's uh, toy sack there, but no, this is uh, a sleigh going around here as well. Okay, and then we've got a pale of gold and like an orangey colour there. And that's like a bronzy colour. And then our hot pink at the end. We just have a little hot pink Christmas present there, look. I hope that's got my name on it. <laughs> okay, let's Put these drills back in the bag and we will have a look at the next thing. Pop him over there. Okay, now then, this is a little bit bigger picture for me and it's one of the traditional pictures. Um, and I was talking about pear soap in a previous video and how I really liked sort of those old traditional paintings. Well, I found another one that I really, really liked and I thought, yeah, I'm just going to have to get that one. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to, let me just pop those out the way a second. I have to do it this way. And yeah, it's a nice 50 by 40. And that's our drills. All in the nice set of snake long back or trains. And oh, okay. Uh, this toolkit, we have two pink pens. One has got, let's have a look. Is that a four placer? One of the old style four placers. But uh, very good for oh, <laughs> fingers and thumbs. Uh, oh, no, it could be a five. Nope, it's a six. It's a six placer. Okay, so yeah, that's a six placer. But as I say, the, the wider multi placers are quite good for picking up when you've got um, special shaped diamonds and drills and gems because they're just that little bit bigger. So sometimes they're just that little bit 
easier to pick up because you've got a bigger surface area so don't always discount um, the older thicker style ones and then yep yeah, it's just a single placer uh, we've got a few grip seal bags a little bit of wax and a few pens obviously they think you're going to be doing this one with a friend because they've sent you two <laughs> Diamond paint with a friend, why not? Okay, so let's give this a bit of a flatten out. But yeah, this is just one of those iconic pictures that I will real all the well the Yes, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, uh, if you've not seen one of my previous videos, hello. Uh, but uh, just remember if you do get these clear covers on paintings then there is a right and a wrong side. They may look the same, these uh, clear covers, but actually if you put the wrong side down on your painting, it can take all the glue off and it can be awful to try and get off. So it's uh, worth maybe putting a sticker on it or something so that you know which side is which, particularly if you're going to take the whole cover off. Okay, just put that a flatten down. Oh, look at that. Absolutely love it. And it says, Once upon a time there was a girl who dearly loved dogs and books. It was me, the end. Yes, I love reading and I do love dogs. Well, I love all animals, but I particularly love dogs. Okay, and this is a bloodhound. And I think she's reading to the bloodhound and it's like a case of he's either saying, look, I've heard enough now. Let's go and play and doing the thing that dogs do where they come and either sit on you or they sit on your computer or sit on your laptop or get in the way so that you can't read. Or she's saying, look at this. And she's put her arms around his neck and she's showing him the book real close up. And he's thinking, oh, for goodness sake, I'm a dog. I can't read. <laughs> But yeah, look at the size of his paws. He's a big dog. He's a big dog. Oh, I love bloodhounds. Got that real sad expression. But they've got a nose on them like I don't know what. Uh, she's in a lovely little creamy white dress with all her ringlets down the back of her head and her big blue spotty bow on her dress and her pretty little ballerina style shoes there as well. And it's 22 colours. And that key code is yo -wooch. Um, Even I can see that without my glasses on. And yeah, we've got DMC codes and it's all symbols. Looks like a pretty clear drill field. Um, I was thinking that the O's were a little bit blurry, but actually they're not. Um, yeah, I think we're doing pretty okay with that. Looks pretty good to me. It's quite a stiffish canvas, so it will need to be under something heavy for a while just to flatten down. But it's lovely, and I just love this picture. It's uh, I used to have this. I'm trying to think where I had it. I think I had it with a different saying on it, um, and I did have it as a picture for quite a while. The other one that I'm after is the little girl sat on the uh, staircase with a little dog sat next to her looking. Looks like she's either real sad about something so the dog's come to be sad with her or um, she's been told off and the dog's come to be uh, sympathetic. But yeah, that's another picture that I absolutely love and I'm on the look lookout for that one as well. Let's just give this a quick measure. So we are uh, 16 and a quarter-ish inches, which is about 41 and a half centimetres. And this way it is, oh, 32 centimetres, which is 12 and a half inches. So it's quite a big border on this one. You're losing quite a bit off the edge for the border. I'll keep it this way around so you can see it that little bit better. But that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm hoping because it's that little bit bigger size that the face and the face on the dog will come up okay. But yeah, I just couldn't resist this one. Just love it. So let's have a look at these drills. God, they're in a long train, aren't they? Okay, let's 
So yeah, 22 colours. Number one was at the beginning, like the coffee too. <laughs> so we've got, oh, a lovely, like, grapey, purpley colour there. Is that 154 then? Doesn't look like it. It is 154. Didn't look like it. Ooh, okay. Uh, we've got your 310 black there, it looks like. And we've got two bags of that. Yeah, we've got two bags of 310, so we have a lot of black on this one. Uh, we've got like a peachy, beige colour and a stone colour and a lovely peachy orange and then a bit paler peachy orange and that's like a burgundy colour and oh three burgundies all on the trot there look that's more of a browny one and then that's more of a, a true burgundy and then that's just got a bit more red in it and then we've got like a tan colour and a denim blue and a very dark brown and a very dark blue and a very pale peach and a beige colour and ooh, what colour is that? We've got two bags of that one as well. Number 16. That's 3371. So is that one? Hmm, don't know whether that's blue or it might be a grey colour. Could be a very, very dark grey, maybe. Unless it is blue. I'll have to check on my colour chart and see what that one is quite tell. Uh, then we've got like a tan colour and quite a brightish peachy colour and a lovely brown and a mocha colour and another stone colour and then just a little tiny bit of white. Wow you'd think that the dress would have a lot of white in it wouldn't you in the book but obviously it's just got that little bit of smattering and it's a 3865 so it's the creamy white as well. Mm, very nice. Now then, this one's going to be fun to put back together. <laughs> well, a huge thank you to Diamond Dark Gift for sending me these. Uh, we've gone from one extreme to the other. We've got a lovely big painting, very old fashioned, very uh, iconic painting of a little girl with her big dog. And then we've gone all bright and Christmassy and gnomey and silly with our lovely little Christmas decoration stand, as I say. I could send that as a Christmas card because I think that would be well received. Okay, well, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, then as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And once again, huge thank you to diamondartgift.com for sending these to me. Don't forget to go and check out for their special offers and uh, you may get a painting free if you want to put four in your basket. Okay, well, that's me done for now. So thank you ever so much for stopping by. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do that by pressing that button down in this corner and a little all notifications bell pops up. If you press on that, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Okay, well, thanks for stopping by. I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.